Hi, this is Charlotte Rogers from GeekFest Montreal, and I play Brittany in LARPs the series, and you are listening to the LARP Book Podcast. Hello and welcome to the LARP Book Podcast. Podcast. This is episode 30, Sunday, 20th of March 2016. Even though I've actually written in the show notes 2106, I've just noticed. <laughs> We're in the future! Welcome <laughs> to the world of tomorrow! Um, so, uh, with me always, uh, inevitably, ex- in- inextricably, and every other word ending in Lee, is Lee. Luke. Pitimus, oh my goddess, oh Maximus, baldness, big beardedness, Pitimus. Honestly, just leave it alone. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Uh, and of course, uh, with us as always is Thomas, the now nicely uh, trimmed up bearded one, although he could probably do with a haircut. I could actually, couldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> and more people need to put little comments about your photograph that you put up where you're sat there looking like this. Oh, I t- trust me. I'm hold. I'm holding back. I'm holding back. You, I'm, you, I'm, why? I'm, why no, are you no, holding I'm, back? I'm, 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 I'm there trying, is no need. I'm trying to come up with the quintessential uh, comment on that to make you all go. Oh no! Oh, that is so good. Yeah, yeah. So I think actually you need to you need to publish this photograph, Thomas. And what we need to do is to put a caption to it, because yeah. when everyone sees this photograph, they'll know exactly what we mean. Yeah. In fact, we we may actually have a cam- a, 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 a caption this competition. Uh, who knows? You know. Oh, I think oh. we should for no other reason than we can. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, um, if you've not already noticed, uh, we're not streaming on Twitch, we're not streaming on YouTube, because my computer decided to be a dick. Uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, I don't mind using the word penis in any uh, form and connotation that they're in and thereof. Um, but anyway, uh, so we're, we're, doing it, we're recording it basically via Skype, uh, and we'll put it up as a video. Well, you're probably already seeing this. So shut up now. Uh, yeah. So in today's show, uh, three went mad in Somerset, LARPing for social good, and the convention of thorns. Uh, we may talk about other things as well as things come up, as we inevitably, inextricably do, uh, and what have you. But uh, let's start off with three went mad in Somerset. Now. I didn't get to attend because work, life, everything else uh, got in the way, uh, etc. As is always the bloody way with me. Uh, but however, Luke, uh, Tom, and Rob. Oh yeah, Rob's not with us tonight again. He had to. He is honestly sometimes the most unluckiest man with with health. Um, he had to go and have a emergency dental extraction. Um, I've had one of them before. The people that they send you uh, over in Great Britain are usually not the kindest or the best because they don't want to be there, uh, but they pretty much had to because it's an emergency service. Uh, so he's uh, a little bit under the weather, uh, let's say. So we've, we we told him that to have a night off, uh, but don't do it again. Uh, so <laughs> it's, it's strange, really, because he went for a tooth extraction, but he actually just has a tickly cough. So yeah. I thought that was a bit harsh yeah. to start taking his teeth out. Really, you know, well, just throwing that one in there. But isn't that just NHS all over it, for you? And you know, that's that's the British N- 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 NHS yeah. for you. It's as simple as that. You, you go, you go in for one thing. Uh, doc, my arm's hanging off. Uh, can you yeah. put it back on? And they go, yeah, certainly. Should we also scan your brain while you're here uh, and yeah, yeah. Uh, and take out that one knee? Yeah, yeah. Which I thought was a bit harsh because I don't think it needed an an, an, an enema either, an, 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 which is an, really an, easy to say. An, 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 an. We say, get those on the house. Yeah. That's easy for you to say. Get get us on the house. Why would you give your house an enema? An, 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 an. <laughs> if you got blood pipes, an, 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 an. Oh, enema. Enema. I'm glad an, someone can glad someone can say it. <laughs> England is hard. Because I can't. No. Exactly. How um, have we gotten from three go to Somerset to Enemas? Was that just <laughs> you, me? Luke, apparently, you. That's was it me? <laughs> apparently, it's, it's it's a small tangent uh, that we're quite yeah we we, we can do uh, quite easily. It would seem. 
Um, well, we had a fabulous time. I have to say, fantastic. So tell we did me, have a good time. Tell me all about it as though we haven't spoken. Actually, we haven't spoken about this. So we tell, haven't actually so. spoken about it. Well, we all went down because what we've decided is that yeah. we would make more of an effort to go and crew yeah. on other people's uh, stuff. So it is the first thing. If you want us to come and cause a shed load of trouble at your <laughs> event, then um, if you ask Gideon, uh, he'll certainly vouch for the fact that we really can cause so much havoc and you know um, uh, and just general mayhem. But we decided to go and monster for um, the Forest Argent crew, um, and Goblin Coombe was that event. Uh, so we went there on the Friday evening. We all left work and then just decided we were going to pile on down there. And we just had the best weekend, really, uh, doing what we do best, Dewey, and that's just causing trouble. Fantastic. Whether was, was... Rob and I were drunken monks <laughs> to, uh, you know, to, to me and Thomas there trying to be old farts, uh, asking everyone whether they wanted a cup of tea. Was this, um, the, was this the same goblin coom that Rob said was somewhere in Britain? Yes, basically, put it this way, when when we were going there... They asked me to drive, which I thought should have been the first clue. And we trusted the sat-nav. All because right. even trying to find the bloody entrance way, Rob was saying, I think it's this one. Oh, no, no, no. It's definitely the next one. At literally every ah. gate that we every came Every gate. It was, it, it was this No, no. No, it was it's definitely next. that one. Is it on the left or the right? You know? And I, I genuinely, after the fourth gate, started to lose a little bit of hope. <laughs> You know, because there was a large part of me, and you'd be forgiven for leaving that sentence right there. Okay. But there was a large part of me that was sat there going, you ain't got a clue. We're not even in Goblin Coombe. This is not where we are. Because he wouldn't even say he recognised areas. It was like, you know, do you recognise anywhere, Rob? I think so. <laughs> oh, so, so he, was, he was completely non-committal then. Uh, ab just about the sheer fact that utter. we may, we may not actually be Bastard. where we're supposed to be. And yeah. then, you know, and when you're driving, that's a little disconcerting because the yeah. sat-nav just doesn't do. It's part of the UK somewhere. You kind of have to be a little bit more kind of with it, you know. And, but uh, eventually we got yeah. there. And, 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 and not only that, <clears throat> for, for, for American listeners and everybody else around the world, right, uh, everybody in the UK knows this. If it's a rural, 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 a rural area, right? <laughs> so rural enema. That's what we're yeah. going to say. Rural enema. Yeah. Enema, ma, ma, ma. yeah. <laughs> A rural <laughs> area, um, postcodes, which is a bit like zip codes uh, in, in the States, right, um, are useless because they are yes. such a massive geographical area. Uh, you could be 30 miles away from where you actually yes. want to be. It's, it's yeah. atrocious uh, in, this, in, in this country. Yes. Uh, in fact, so, in, in fact I, I know one bloke, right, that he, he lives in, in such a... a, a rural location that if someone's come in like Amazon or what have you to deliver uh, parcels, he has to actually give them a grid reference of where wow. he lives, right? To actually find his place. That's how far out he is. I'll be honest with you. I didn't have faith Rob was going to find it home either, if I'm honest, because I, I, we were, I mean, he says Cumbran, but it's very, very woolly, really, yeah. when you think it through. Kind of. So we, we eventually got there. Yeah. And, and, you know, and after the fifth gate, when he was suddenly going, no, no, definitely, that's it. Pull it over, pull over, pull over. But we've passed it. Let's turn around. Let's go back again. Um, and we went through the two gates and onto this field. And, you know, we're yeah. going through, over fields now. And thankfully... We actually saw someone that Rob recognised, and we got there. And Goblin Coombe is like this beautiful kind of very ornate building right next to a smaller building. It's all this one little complex, okay. surrounded by fields and then woods. Ironically, a clay pigeon shooting thing as well, which you'll hear on some of the videos when we were trying to hold very serious discussions with people, and people were blowing the crap out of it. Yeah, yeah, Ironically, yeah. there's like an airport just over as well, which is slightly disconcerting. What happens if they actually miss? it and they'll all start to shoot at the actual planes coming over that was the only thing that crossed my mind um but you know the, minor technical details the, the I, i'll tell you now the the shotgun shot would not reach it <laughs> I, I you know i'm pretty sure they were having a good go though yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. any little cessna planes yeah. i'm just saying watch out goblin coom not where you want to be sunday morning no it, it 
It wouldn't reach it. I um I, I actually there's a, a a shotgun club up by me. The next door neighbour is kind of the one one of the guys that runs it, uh, and he takes me up every now and then, uh, just to shoot some uh, clay pigeons and and what have you. And uh, I know if if that if that clay pigeon goes out a little bit too far, he'll go. Don't bother. <laughs> Don't bother. Don't yeah, bother. Yeah, you're never gonna miss it. Because never gonna miss it. It won't reach it. <laughs> it's like well, so. Well, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we eventually, we yeah. got there Friday night and we were inducted. And in fairness, Gideon was very good. He, he ran us through an induction and we uh, we all knew what we were doing and where we stood. We all had a, a bite to eat. And then we, we actually started, didn't we, Thomas? And it was kind of like, um, you know, it was combat after combat. We were definitely harrying the, the main party. Yeah. We, we fell over. Uh, I got squashed by a troll king. Oh uh, yeah, that was. Great. I shouldn't have actually picked on him. In fairness, because he was huge, and then he suddenly realised who I was, and then thought, "No, I was going to go for this." And we were, <laughs> Stuart. We were on the one day. Honestly, I, I swear to you, like, I've never had someone squash me before, and you know how big I am, right? Yeah. This guy dwarfed me, right? And we will. I in the end, I resorted to nipple twisting because I genuinely couldn't think of another way to affect a fight. So he was basically hammering down on my chest. He'd literally, we'd rolled over, of which I was like just the small part of it, and he squashed me again. Right, and then yeah. he was hammering me on my chest, and I thought, I've got nothing here. I know nipple twist. And so I was nipple twisting him, and thankfully it made him giggle a little bit, which was just enough time to breathe and roll out and run away yeah. <laughs> well, I must say at yeah. this point every other monster had gone it was just, oh, it was just me and him rolling on the field so we, we had a whale of a time we were able to pick on people uh, yeah. everyone uh, everyone just you know was well up for it um, and we got some good interviews by the way on that front alone we got some very very good yeah. they're definitely worth watching um, and they're, they're really game as well. They're, uh, they're well up for a, a good laugh. So we just spent the weekend, uh, um, you know, just doing what we do best. I mean, Rob actually plays a very good drunk monk. Um, he's surprisingly well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, um, and I thought the attire that we wore for the two old farts that were looking after those three <laughs> prisoners when we were just making tea for absolutely everyone, yeah. um, you could see people at first were going, who are these, who are these absolute raving nutters? <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden just thought, oh, we'll just roll with it. Yeah, <laughs> just, it was brilliant. Just go with it. And it's, it, it, it's the only way to go. Roll with it, yeah. roll with it, roll with it. Because uh, if... Except if it's a troll king. Yeah. Don't roll with it yeah. if it's a troll king, because he's huge. Um, you know, he's a big man. Hey, you you know me, Luke. I like my men big. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's certainly that. But I, he was it was just so much fun, um, and it was just the right little event. There, there what were there about forty people? Would you say, Tom? Yeah, something like that. It, it was good because there were forty mm. people, but they also had a big monster team as well. Because yeah, yeah. it evenly split between yeah. the two. So. That enabled us to do more diverse things with monsters. It wasn't because if you have a small monster team, okay, you got one monster um, to fight an entire party. That's got to be pretty big. It's got to be pretty strong. But it gave us more diversity. So for one minute, we're just like normal humans that fight along slightly different ways. But then they threw a spanner in the works for these like um, undead, which we absolutely loved. And basically, we were all like little minions, little undead minions. Yeah. And we were invulnerable to everything and absolutely everything until the one, the mother, I think they called it, little mother yeah. or something like that, mm -hmm. until she died. And then we all fell. Okay? okay. So we need to keep her. We need to bring her food. So it, it was great because she ordered us to attack who, and we would just go full pelt at whoever it was, and the part, first time that we hit, the party didn't have a clue because we weren't taking any damage. Yeah, and it was yeah, kind yeah. of like a little puzzle in an encounter mm. to what they should do to the solution. You mm. know, the hit, just hitting these things isn't working, and it causes panic, and then someone has to, like, you know, when that's happening, you're kind of just like, oh, crap, and you're trying to fight 
as much as you can. And you, your mm. brain isn't thinking, well, how do I solve this solution? You're just going, oh, God, I've got to survive. Particularly when we've got like a group of like five of these monsters coming at you full pelt yeah. to try and take you out. Um, but yeah, it, it, there was quite a nice diversity in uh, all the monsters. There were the quick ones, and then there were uh, honourable ones who would fight quite honourably. And then there were the big kind of like guys who would take punishment and stuff. Um, and having that extra monster team really helped make the event. You know, it really mm -hmm. helped with the, with the contribution to that. Yeah. And uh, I, th I think the players enjoyed it too. It, it was different. It wasn't the same things over and over and over again. Yeah, I yeah. remember. I, I remember when when Lorian Trust did did a, a, a we can say similar thing, although it's it's, it's not quite where uh, the monsters could only be damaged by children. So Ooh, yes, yeah, I remember that. So so yeah. basically, so basically, it was it was innocence, right? That yeah. that uh, that damaged the monsters because the adults were going in, in no pagrin as per normal. These monsters were just decimated, right? And then this one sort of brash, brazen kid as kids are, went up and give the monster a whack on the knee, right? And, and the monster howled in pain. And then all the adults went, get the kids! <laughs> and when, when, when we were chatting to, to, to one, of the, one of the monsters later, the monster crew, he went, that was such a bad idea because those kids are ruthless! He said, yeah. 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 He said if, totally. I wa if I wasn't wearing a cup, I'd never be able to have children. Right, it's as simple as that. He said because they were kicking, biting, you name it. He said they were, they were evil. No, <laughs> children they're... don't understand the concept of pull, pull your blows. No. <laughs> yeah. um, especially my children don't yeah. understand that. Yeah, um, but yeah, it was good, and so we we just basically caused trouble. We took photographs. We ate. Um, it was a lovely uh, atmosphere, and they're, they're obviously a very close knit group. Mm. Um, but they're very open to, you know, kind of foreigners coming in. Um, yeah, they were, yeah, they were very welcoming. Everyone yeah. Are like, you local? <laughs> we're not local, sir. We didn't go in saying that, Stuart, because I didn't really, I wanted to make the weekend. <laughs> um, and, uh, but it, there, there was a part of me who sat there going, local, local LARPing for local people. Mm? Is that you, sir? <laughs> Do you want it? <laughs> Would you like me to hit you, sir? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they were very good and it was such an enjoyable uh, event so I think I mean anyone who's got an event that uh, requires some extra monsters and you don't mind us coming and just invading you for the weekend uh, we will be more than happy to consider it I mean I know we've got a Twilight Realms event that a couple of us are going to so that'll be yeah, Rob uh, and myself. Thomas Rob. Yeah, my, yeah. my next one is going to be the uh, pirate event. The oh. pirate event, yeah, in August. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's another pirate event in um, the end of May down in Brixham, um, which I'm going to with Lewis. Uh, he's the one who actually does that, that event. Cool. Um, so, you know, where people have got these events, uh, we certainly do have fun. The only thing we insist on is that we do take photographs, we do stitch people up. Uh, it's all material for the shows. Yeah. Um, we'll ask people to do silly things just because that uh, amazes and, and just, uh, you know, kind of uh, makes us all uh, laugh. Um, and we'll just come and, you know, kind of generally just cause trouble. And as long as you're up for that, we're in. Um, and we've even but, tried to but, buy but, players know. with mead. You know, but and but, that works too. It's, yeah, but also as well, we also like to do some nice insightful pieces uh, on a more more serious note. I'll stop now. I'll just stop. Now. No, because we can't do that. We did do one. We did do one, and yeah. I will leave you. You're going to have to go to the website for that because it was a, it wasn't an intended uh, interview. I will I'll tell you now. Yeah. It, it just happened that it was there, and we saw the opportunity, yeah. and and so we thought we would. You know, take the opportunity to talk about it because of circumstances. Yeah, I, uh, it is right. really a truly fascinating interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah I've, absolutely. I've, I've got to do some um, audio cleanup on that uh, again because uh, we just haven't got the kit at the moment, folks. It's simple as that. But uh, yeah. should you yeah. want to help us out, get kit, uh, then you can either go stop laughing, you do. Look, plug the plug. <laughs> then you, you know, pop across to Patreon, help us out, check us a. a, a a couple of pound dollars, whatever the currency is that it actually works in, you know, so we can actually buy some, well, 
actual equipment right now. We're just using our mobile phones to film things. You know? um, <laughs> yeah, that that is the only issue, isn't it? That, you know, kind of uh, what we found is that when we were doing some of the interviews, the clay pigeon shooting was all yeah. you could hear. So you'd sit there and go, so tell me a little bit about the LARP. And the guy was going, well, it... <laughs> and that's when I... <laughs> and you sat there going, really, I think we're just going to have to start again. Uh, actually, should we go indoors? Um, and then we'd have people going to the toilet. And so you'd have the toilet flush, and you're going, really, this is not happening at all. We can't do anything. Yeah. But it was, uh, yeah. or planes would cut, uh, cut, yeah, take off and really. land, you know, where we were. So, yeah, we are very, very much at the mercy. I think it's seven grand is all we need, isn't it, Stewie? Is that the <laughs> that we, it's 18 all grand. So all we actually need is 50 grand. Uh, and with that 75 grand, we'll be able well, to actually yeah, get, just, just you know, get some it. very basic equipment with the 90 grand that you're prepared to give us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, so so pop across across the Patreon, look, search for Lap Book and, and help us out. And if you don't want to do Patreon, but you fancy some really cool swag, you know, swag being like stuff, um, then uh, <laughs> just just go across to Redbubble, search for Lap Book. We got a whole bunch of stuff you can buy there, and all of that sort of helps us out as well. Yeah. Um, so moving on from that, uh, I the that interview. Um, about the disability uh, yeah. and LARP, yeah. which I think is the one you're, you're on about, um, yeah. mm. which, to be honest with you, is the only serious one you did. <laughs> um, <laughs> then, uh, you know, yeah, it was, was actually quite a fascinating look, actually. Um, mm. You know, we, we, say, we say we're inclusive, uh, but, yeah. of course, yeah, yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, it's simple as that. The, the, the whole community on, as a whole is inclusive. We want to, to bring anybody and everybody Ooh. into it. Yeah. It's just unfortunately the the these these sites that um, the, a lot of this stuff gets done in uh, that just doesn't accommodate them, um, and that's a failing uh, on the the British uh, institution as a whole. You know, you just mm-hmm. need to go to, to city centres who say they're uh, disabled friendly, etc. I mean, I know, uh, you know, Rob's had to go in, in, in into a wheelchair w- uh, once or twice in his life, you know, that, that I've known him. Uh, I know I'm, I'm, we've gone to town, you know, get a cup of coffee, things like that. Uh, and you suddenly realize, oh, you know, even, even a, a modern town like ours is really mm. difficult to get around if you're in a wheelchair. It's, yeah. it, it's well, actually quite shocking. Yeah. I mean, what we what we found was that actually we don't ask the right questions, um, and, and we fear offending people. I think that's what the interview kind of came out with yeah. is that because we we want to be so politically correct, it's not as if we don't want people there. It's just we really don't know how to handle them. And rather than sit there and say, so what is it you actually need? We're trying to overthink it. Um, and I think what what both of the interviewees were saying is, look, just ask us what we need. We'll tell you what we want. We don't get offended by it. Just, yeah. you know, ask us what we need. Um, and that became very apparent. And, and the great thing about it was was th- that they were there, that they were participating, and they were having a, just as much of a good time. Yeah. Um, and it, it started me to think, actually, why don't we why don't we try and encourage more, um, and at least encourage the conversation? So if people have got stuff to say, again, you know, I'd love to see more articles on this about what we could do about people's personal experiences. Yeah, yeah. So that what we can do is it's not going to be a blame culture. What we wanted to do is to is to publicise every aspect of LARP and say yes we are open but what we're hoping for is to become this library of information as well so that people can come back and go well I saw that article there maybe I'll just read that from what that person was saying and then you know glean inspiration from it and yeah, hopefully that's what you'll get from the interview yeah 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 good you know once I've, once I've cleaned up the audio uh, and what have you then um, I shall put that out there so search for that mm. look for that yeah on uh, on the LARP book website and it'll be up on the two you yeah. YouTube and everything, and um, we'll get that sorted. Um, and thank you to uh, Catherine, Tracy, and Joe. I, I hope I got the right names right for doing oh, it as well. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. they were really, awesome. really great. They were fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, this is, why, uh, this is why I never mention names because I always forget them if they're not written down. So let, let's just call them the four Bobs because that's Bob. really so much easier <laughs> to try and understand. Bob, At least no Bob, one gets Bob offended because they're all called Bob. Yeah. Bob, 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 and Bob. They had a great interview. Uh, yeah. Bob, especially, was really, really vocal and made some very good points. But I thought Bob interjected quite well as well. 
Yeah, and I was actually quite. I, I thought that Bob was actually quite in in in, in, in insightful in a, in a lot of different yeah. ways. And yeah. you know, not not that one Bob, but the other Bob. Uh, I the other was, Bob yeah. that was doing the thing with the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah very impressed. Um, so, is there any, is there anything you want to kind of uh, um, wrap up for uh, Goblin Kuma? I still love that name. That's it's such great. a fascinating name. What a what a what a great larping name, Goblin Coom. And it's also a good porn site. Yeah, apparently. Allegedly. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I mean, it, it, apart from it was a, it was a fantastic event. Uh, Gideon did an amazing job in running it. An absolutely amazing job. Um, it was a nice site. Um, although um, I think for future episodes about we could talk about discuss about LARP sites and the price mm. of it. I think that might be quite oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, because they uh, for, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for mm. the future. But overall, it was fascinating. Uh, each of the characters... I, I, the one thing I really enjoyed was the uniqueness of a lot of the characters. They really mm. went out... They really went to town with their you know, characters and the kit that they were wearing, and it, it was really interesting. It was. It really was. It, it, they, I mean, I could never get a kit such as, as good as how they did it. Okay. It really was amazing. Of course you can, Thomas. But however, I don't think the maid's outfit that you've got will quite cut it. You just don't have the chest. More. No. Oh, God, Thomas, we've really got to get you away from that kit. <laughs> God help you if your other half finds out about it. You know, well, thankfully no one listens to this show. It. So, I mean, you yeah. know, kind of. Wouldn't yeah. it? No, really, it's just between the three of us and my mother. And she does judge you. <laughs> just the three of us. And hmm. Luke's mother, just the three of us, you and me. Um, so, yeah, fantastic. So I'm, I'm glad you managed to, to get along with that. We are hoping, uh, and when I say hoping, we're going to, right? It's as simple as that. We're going to get to more events. If you want us at your event, even, should you want, no, if you want us at our event, email larpbookshow at gmail.com. Give us the details. Hell, I know. I know we're going to be harassing a few to see whether or not we can come along um, and do little bits and pieces. Uh, uh, and all we require is feeding. Uh, I'm only kidding. We'll probably bring our own food. No, I won't. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, well, if for me, if need be, I'll bring my own food. I don't mind. Yeah, it's fine. Not, not, not a problem. I do. It's a place to sleep. Really. <laughs> I want a hotel. It needs to be five star. Yeah. Um, and could, how come on? I'm, I don't just glamp. I mean, Stuart will well, tell you. I don't you, just camp. You are you are the talent after all, Luke. Yeah, the, yeah. the talent. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you're going to understand that gag, you're going to have to see last year's <laughs> Pal Rog event. <laughs> but if you do look at it, you'll, all that will become very very clear to you. <laughs> Did we actually put that on the back of your teeth? No, we just put present there. We should have put the. Talent. You got presenters. I'm the only one that's got. You perfect. should have put the talent on the back. In fact, yeah. I need I need another one. So maybe yeah. he said feeling his boobs. Um, I think I actually I think I should have that. <laughs> On there next time as the talent. So we've yeah. got the other one, the talent. Yeah. I'll... And then we'll just have to put the umpa lumpa for you. <laughs> and, oh. And, me, and sick me. note for Rob. <laughs> <laughs> the sick one. And not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> Bless him. Oh, easy as I um, So let's move on then to uh, LARPing for social good. Uh, now I only found this. Um, this isn't actually on the uh, LARP book website yet, as I found this today. But I only f- <laughs> I found it um, because Luke's wife is actually uh, the one of the main uh, pictures uh, on it. <laughs> Uh, Why are you Googling Beck's pictures? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, now this is an interesting conversation. How did this come up? No reason. Um, it's a <laughs> hobby. Look, I. I Google all of you, and and every now and then I put naked uh, at the end of the search. Um, oh, don't 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 do that. Oh, I've got plenty of you. It's fine. It's oh, well, that's all right. Then I was just young and very young, and I needed I needed the money. That's all it was. <laughs> I mean. You know the the fappening, you know we or the frappening or whatever it was uh, uh, called. We, we're all on it, so don't worry about it. Man. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, but it is it is very interesting because I'm looking at the uh, thing now. And yeah, Becky's absolutely there. So yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. so yeah. that's good that she's getting out and about. Along with three, along with three hundred. 
Nice. Yes, with three hundred. Yes. <laughs> nice to see he's there sc- screaming away. Uh, that that I love him. That is an in joke. Bless him. He was trying to be so serious, and then he found us. <laughs> <laughs> he's never really been quite right since, has he? He really hasn't. And and he's he's a big so. lad, isn't he? He's a big muscly lad. Fair play. Oh, oh um, no, that was um. Oh. Yeah, three hundred. I forget it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, he's he's he's, yeah. he's he's a big, muscly sort of lad. He does a lot of workouts and uh, what have you. Uh, and then I tried to sort of uh, try to cop off with him for a bit. Uh, he got <laughs> he got he got very uncomfortable. I don't know why. Yeah, I was strange yeah, that really because everyone else just you know succumbs to your charms really, um, and you know kind of siren. I am. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so so anyway. Um, Going to the actual, to, to I've the crashed on them rocks many times, sir. <laughs> <laughs> he's got, he's got such a beautiful voice. Oh, honestly, um, you're just such a one. So this, this, uh, this article then, uh, interesting article. We'll, we'll put it in, in the show notes. Um, you know, it'll, it'll definitely go up on the the LARPbook dot com website. Another plug. Uh, that um, basically using LARP to promote uh, social interaction, situations, uh, things like that, and how people kind of deal or can deal with them, uh, etc. And it's actually a very fascinating little read uh, done by a, a lovely gentleman uh, called Roy. I mean... Who could not love a, a guy named Roy? I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, um, we all know a Roy. We do. Um, Roy Graham, uh, who's uh, who's written this really well, fair play. Uh, and in a nice sort of, it's nice to see a nice positive spin on on a lot of things. Where unfortunately, UK media, as we know, you know, it's Stewie rant time. Uh, UK media, as we know, doesn't doesn't usually uh, put Tom. A lot Tom, just just. Exit stage left. Come on, just leave him to it. <laughs> you know, you going to get a cup of tea. See, that's the problem. This, this, this system I got now, it follows your face. You can't get away. See, I know, I know, I can't dodge it. it Damn just it! Follows. We can't go like we did last time. Yeah. It will always find you. It's like, um, like oh, I'm in Skynet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Um, what are you hiding? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you, you don't want to? <clears throat> but I know I do agree. It it is good that um and and that um that photograph was just uh it, I think it, it is a really good photograph actually. I'd even yeah. forgotten we'd taken it to be honest. It was um, an ad- it, it it was an added bonus when I when I found it. But yeah, way. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, I'll have to tell Becky about it as well. She's famous. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and she didn't know it. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, so. Things like, you know, he says, in a more analog approach than typical computer or console games, LARPing brings people together in the real world to act out characters by dressing up in costumes and, and improvising stories. Yeah. And yep. and uh, l- let's be honest, the one thing that pa- uh, a lot of parents want to do uh, with these kids, you know, today is these kids today with your hair and your music um, is is get them out of the blooming house. You know, get them mm. away from their PlayStations, Xboxes, uh, other consoles may be available. Um, and, like, I'm a world's worst. I play World of Warcraft, okay? It sucks the life out of me every morning because I know I've got to go in and do it. Otherwise, I'll miss out on some fantastic loot, gold, etc., blah, 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 right? It's the way it is, but I still, you know, try to get out of the house by stepping out of the front door to pick up the parcel and step back in. Um mm. That. The next WoW expansion, exactly. You know that that sort of thing. But this is a, actually a very good, fascinating little read, and he's he's written it really well. Um, and it it kind of rolls off from the uh, the stuff that the guys from Treasure Trapped did, uh, mm. with the whole kind of uh, the teaching aid of LARPing and bringing ideas across and things like that. Uh, and I do suggest and do recommend. Uh, you go and have a read. It is. It's very good. Very good. Yeah, fair, fair play. I'm quite cool. happily, nicely impressed. You know, uh, with that. Um, oh, by the way, Stuart, if you want yes. photographs of my wife, you can always ask me. I've got loads. You uh, don't have to tromp through the porn sites anymore. She's finished with that now. 
Has she, has she finished that? Oh, bless Yeah, you. she stopped doing that now, now uh, ever you know since. I'm, I'm going to stop paying that site now. <laughs> you, well, I, I, I think you should, because it was worth it, but now it's, it's all finished now. Don't, it, we don't like to talk about it. Uh, in fact, probably don't tell Becky about it, because, you know, it yeah. didn't happen, and it's not real. Um, and, of course, she, you know, I haven't told her either. Um, but, yeah, if you want the photographs, that's one I can always give you okay. those. It's not a problem. Oh, excellent. She has, uh, just, just put yeah. it up in the Dropbox, and uh, we'll... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> FNAF, nah. FNAF, nah. FNAF, <laughs> um, and what have you so that's that, <laughs> that wasn't what a verbal a cul de sac segue, a segue. I mean, yeah can you I, see this seamless link that we yeah, actually yeah. did there so uh, the, the, the seamless link is uh, of course vampires are sexy um, well do you need any more <laughs> you know uh, so our very very good friend Klaus uh, Rastad um <laughs> Is doing another, another LARP. Um, Do you reckon he's got his head in his hands at the moment? Slightly going. I, really, I can't believe he's just said that again. Uh, I mean, I had a pretty bad headache, and now he's really made that bad. I'm said, almost certain Stewie can't say his name without going. Just say, right just say it. Just say it once normally, Stuart. Yeah. Okay. See if you can say it. With, so he can't. Just, it's not possible. So he can't do it. Can't. Just Klaus. Just say it, Klaus. 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 Klaus, 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 Klaus. Let's see. No, I can't do it. No. Can't do it. I was like, you know, the you know the thing from the Goonies, the one with the eye up here and the one down there, <laughs> trying to say anything. What are you trying to say, Thomas? I mean, uh, what was the name? Is that, is that what Stuart looks like? Was it not <laughs> not Lump? Wait, what, 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 what? I can't remember the name of the. the Honestly, name. I got you know we we bought him into the, the fold. We gave him a T-shirt, admittedly, with the other one on the back of it. Well, I took a photograph oh, of that, by the way. And basically, this is the thanks we get. It's 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 what I'm used to. I've got children. You've got children. Well, child. I was going to say, is there something you want to say, Stu? <laughs> is there something you want to announce? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not uh, not openly to the world. No, no um... not not yet. You need to tell other people first. <laughs> But yeah, I, I've, I've got, I've, I've got, I've got four children. You know, you know that, Luke. I got my daughter, and then the three dogs. Um, the three, uh, yeah, yeah, nicely, nicely, uh, kind of uh, sidestep there. <laughs> you can always see Karen writing notes, can't you? I think I may have gotten away with that one. This, I'm not sure. And then there's the other thing that you said. <laughs> It's all going down. Oh, it's 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 fantastic at the moment because because Karen had that thing wrong with her brain. She forgets everything, so I can get away with loads of shit at the moment. It's great. Oh, marvelous! Have you tried the? Uh, can I have that twenty back? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I've done that. I, that. That's been sorted. Um, that have been all right. Or, or do you remember that shopping I did? Well, I I did it with that money, so I need that. Back yeah, money. yeah. Yeah. And then you need to come back to it as well. Continuity now. Yeah. Next week, I ask the same question. Yeah, can I have that twenty pound now? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That, that you owe me, that I, I lent you. Yeah, you owe me. Yeah. Do you remember we said that we could buy that armour? <laughs> <laughs> I've already used that one. That's that that's stored in, in, in the long term. In the long term yeah. memory. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. screwed yeah. then, aren't you? Yeah. Whatever. Remember that time you said you were going to buy me that sword? <laughs> no, okay, right. <laughs> you, me you remember that time you said you were going to buy me that LARP lightsaber? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You might have to have sex and everything for that, mate. Oh, You're gonna have to take one for the team. God, I don't want it then. Um. <laughs> <laughs> God, no. I'm married. I'm married. I don't have to have sex as well, do I? Jesus. Um. Sex, Thomas, is something you put potatoes in after you get married, and you've been yeah. married for at least ten, fifteen years. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, there are so many jokes on that. This, this is a family-friendly show. Apparently, um, <laughs> it isn't. I know. I uh, so anyway, Klaus has done a um, <sighs> has, has done another LARP called the Convention of Thorns. Uh, at first look, and bearing in mind that I didn't actually uh, read it in the beginning, I thought, "Cool, he's doing a Game of Thrones uh, rip off uh, and what have you." But no, it turns out that it's actually a vampire game. Um, mm. Which my daughter immediately said, "Want to go? Want 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 to go?" I said, "Fine, get a job." Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's put pay to that one then. You know. uh, 
Uh, but it is, you know, as as we've already sussed out, if you're coming from the UK, it's incredibly cheap to get out there. Sixty five quid return, something like that. So uh, it's definitely sort of sort of on on the cards. I want to say on the cards, get a job. Um, so uh, convention of thorns is a la- is a LARP live action role play event. Ooh, is that what it means? Uh, event held at the Polish castle of. Going to absolutely bastardize this name. Uh, Zamek Kazayas. There's no way that I pronounced that anyway correctly. Um, there are Polish laughing at us right now. As they should do. I would be too. Um, laughing at us. <laughs> during, the, during, the, during, during the war. Uh, the during the event, participants take on the roles of deceitful and decadent oh. vampires. We could definitely do that. We could so do this. Especially, especially the decadent bit. Uh, deceitful, oh. deceitful. I'm as honest as the day is long. Oh, I see. Nose is growing there, Pinocchio. <laughs> yeah, that's um, right. I just called you Big Nose. <laughs> Who are you calling Big Nose? <laughs> uh, the LARP takes place in White Wolf's World of Darkness uh, setting and is an official White Wolf event. Excellent. Uh, if none of you have done, done or seen White Wolf stuff, it's cool. Uh, put together by the... There's no way I can pronounce that. Rollis Spills Fic Fabrican Lifeform Team. There's no way I pronounce that correct. Uh, in cooperation with White Wolf. Uh, this looks awesome. It does. looks really good, actually. Have you seen... The place it's going to be done at. Yes. Mm. Oh, oh my no. god. What the cat? Is it like a proper That's fairy tale style castle? Oh that... my god! Yes. Go and go and click on the link, uh, Luke. Oh, I'm gonna uh, have to do or, this now. Yeah. Or, uh... This could be a hotel. Well, in fact, really, it, well, it, that good. It probably is, and that's yeah. what they do with Part these. Of it could be. Um, it's uh, cotlarp.com. Um, that picture you got there is the place it's being held at. Right. Right. It is, um, and this is the sort of thing we're going to see when we go out there in November as well, because what they do yeah, is, yeah. is they take these places, yeah, and they make them into hotels. Just it's amazing. as simple as that. And I, can't, I can't, my internet's being very slow, which is really unusual. It is, because uh, it's not like it's hamster-driven or anything. Well, Roos is known for its uh, broadband. It, well, known, <laughs> known as in it, it's shit. Yeah, basically, yeah, but at least we're consistent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this looks absolutely... <clears throat> it, it, honestly, this game looks incredible. Um, even as you as you scroll down, they've they've got pictures of the, of the, the different places of the uh, inside, and there's this round room that you know damn well, a um, like a court, like a jury. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I see that. I, I was thinking was like, oh, of that. You know, like some... vampire elders or something. Yeah, vampire elders with a, yeah. with a dude in the middle, you know, in chains, etc. Yeah. Oh, my no, God. Nice. It looks... And if you scroll down even further, you can see the quality of the hotel oh, room. Coming. Right? Right. Oh, my God. I could just live there forever. Well, ever, you should ever. then. Ever, 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 <laughs> ever, 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 ever. Um... It honestly looks just incredible. Um, but Klaus did say that, didn't he? Yeah. That's Klaus. Stuart, Klaus. Yeah. Uh, can't uh, remember. Klaus did, Klaus did actually kind of yeah. uh, say that. Um, it does, honestly, God, I, I, I know I'm kind of like um, almost fanboying it uh, in, in one respect, but I cannot wait to go there uh, in November because I think it's all... He does the College of Wizardry there as well, um, mm. or a similar place, and it just looks... Does it say how much it is to go to this one? Yes, right at the top, scrolling. Uh, the price is 480 euros. Uh, this includes food and lodging from dinner Thursday to breakfast Sunday. Uh, costume rental, if you don't have one, is 100 wow. euros. Yeah, that's, uh, you know... So you could just turn up, which is actually a good idea if you don't want to drag kit with you uh, as well. Well, yeah, if, if you've got to fly or yeah. you've got to travel and you've got to hit, uh, you've got, you don't want to carry tons of kit. Well, do you? N- not only that, you've usually got a baggage allowance anyway. You know. Well, and, yeah, exactly. You know, 
Uh, and some of that kit, I, I'm assuming, can be fairly avant-garde, uh, then, let's see. Um, mm. And that's 100 euros per person. Um, so for 580 euros, uh, you're all in and you're sorted and you're done. You know, um, If you need the bus, I believe there is a bus service as well from the airport, right. and that is 60 euros if I... That's right, that. yeah, yeah. yeah. 60 euros, so 45, 80, 640... Um, 640 plus plus your your plane tickets what an awesome spectacle that is going to be that's worth I've just it. got the uh the castle looking up now i've just just, just literally popped up yeah. it looks beautiful oh it looks absolutely wow. incredible uh yeah amazing. not lovely it does look incredible but uh so uh should you want to check that out um it is at co <clears throat> cotlarp.com that's cotlarp.com uh yeah cool yeah. fantastic looks superb uh have we got anything else that we want to talk about tonight guys is there anything you, you, you two want to talk about I'm, I'm usually the one sort of uh, uh driving the narrative said the bishop to the actress <laughs> no, I think we just wanted to give um, Goblin Coom a shout out. Yeah, yeah. Say how wonderful they are. Obviously, chastise Rob for being sick uh, and not oh, being able to come it. in because we should talk about him now. He's not here. Just yeah. you know, just put the knife in as we sh- as we should do. Um, it's, have it, we sacked what, Thomas yet? It's uh, it's what friends do, uh, Luke. You know. Yes, uh, that's put, right. Yeah. Put the knife yeah. in at any given. That's what I do with you, anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> have we sacked Thomas? Uh, I sacked yes. I sacked him earlier, but he's rehired again. Sacked him earlier. Uh, You're right. Okay. Because I realised yeah. that I actually need someone to do something. So. Um, right. Yeah. 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 So was, well, I think we're done for today. Really. I mean, you know, as long as you sack Thomas, that's the. Yeah. We'll obviously um, rehire you again when we really need you. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um, if you, if, like I say, if you get any sort of value uh, out of these shows, pop across to Patreon, help us out, guys. Um, for just a dollar a month, yeah, that adds up. It stacks up and it'll allow us to buy some better kits. It l- might allow me to thrash my computer into submission uh, <laughs> to make Skype actually work, uh, etc., and do the streaming and blah, 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 blah yada, yada, yada. Uh, and uh, and like I say, if you don't want to do the Patreon thing, uh, and you just want to just buy stuff to help us out, pop across to Redbubble and look for LARP book. Um, kind of as simple as that. Uh, so with that, oh yeah, if you want to get in touch with the show, you want to tell us anything, you want to submit stuff, you want to ask to be a guest writer on the website, etc. Email us larpbookshow at gmail. Dot com. That's a LARP a book a show at gmail.com. Right? Send us your stuff in, comments, suggestions, get off the air, you crap, whatever it is, right? We'll happily take them all on board, uh, especially the, the, the criticism. I'll probably screw them up into a small ball and throw them off my shoulder after having a good <coughs> giggle with the rest of, uh, you know, of, of the lads and, and, and things like that. Uh, and I think it's about time we actually had um, a woman on this show as well. Because uh, we, about well, it feels a bit like a yeah, sausage it fest. Not too long ago, yeah, it was like yeah, back but that was, in look, yeah, but that was like ages ago. Okay. You know what I mean? We we I, need we do need more women uh, contributing to this. I, yeah. I have to say, yeah, definitely. I mean, we we did have Elizabeth Neal, uh, but she's gone very quiet, and we haven't. Oh, I haven't heard from her. I've heard from the solicitors, but I've not heard from her. Like the court case and leave her on her own and all that kind of stuff. I've not heard anything else. I've I've heard from her. She calls me every week. Doesn't she call you? Are you such a liar? She doesn't. Does she? Oh, look at the jealousy. (laughs) No, of course she doesn't. Why would she possibly possibly deal with me? She got that other bloke, uh, Phil. Oh, is it Bob? I want to say Jason. Could be Chris. Could be Chris. Bloody hell, how many men does she have? <laughs> oh, I'm, we'll I'm, tell you the joke afterwards. I'm just glad. if you bother to actually listen to the show, <laughs> you might actually understand the gag. And I'm, no. really, and I'm really glad that you said that, Tom, not me. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the sort of thing that I would say. Um, oh, that's fine. <laughs> Never going to meet me. 
Oh, yeah, you're not. Yeah, don't 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 say that because we thought that, and then she came over <laughs> to uh, London with uh, with her boyfriend Phil, Chris, whatever his name Scott, is. Scott um, Pollocks. Yeah, you know. <laughs> oh my god, you're good you guys advice. are awful. Um, <laughs> and uh, and Luke actually met up with them, so never say never, 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 never say never. 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 Happen to be in the right place at the right time. Yeah, they are lovely, both of them. Yeah, <laughs> they are really lovely. Oh, you really mean her lovely. and her and her boyfriend? All right. Yeah, for God's sake, you're making it so rude. There's no need. No need. It's always a need. Right, so... Consummate um, professionals. Consummate. E- exactly. That, that, that's what we are. So, on that note then, uh, thank you very much to uh, to Luke and Tom for being there. Uh, Rob, get better soon again. Honestly, uh, sick note. Yeah, you know. Uh, music was provided by Ben Sound at bensound.com. Uh, I said I've already mentioned the Patreon I've already mentioned the shop you can listen to this podcast on iTunes Stitcher, YouTube Twitch, Podbean just search for Laugh Book anywhere on the Tinto webs yeah, and you will find us any news reviews just let us know laughbookshow at gmail.com we'll get it into the website we'll get it onto the show uh, our website is uh, larpbook.com <coughs> simple as that Follow us on all of the social media, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. We're going to get other social sites set up soon. Um, whatever. Uh, we'll get that all sorted. So it's a, a good night from me. It's a good night from Luke. Uh, good yeah, night. And, and a good night from Tom. I was waiting for him to actually answer, Tom. I know. Me too. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Good night.